Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel here. Today we're going to be moving some sheep out of this sheep barn and making some more space in here. If you've been watching our videos recently and especially our last one where you saw me feeding, you'll notice that we had a shortage of uh, head space at the feed bunks. Um, they all kind of just fit in if they were to space themselves out perfectly. And that's far from ideal, especially when we're dealing with um, lots of pregnant ewes that are getting very wide because of um, their pregnancy. And we don't like them putting undue pressure against each other as they fight for bunk space. So we want to take probably about 40 sheep out of here and we're going to move them to our driving shed, which we kind of retrofitted for the job. I'll go show you a little bit what that looks like. If you want to see a cheap barn design, then that would be one of them. But uh, we're going to take this group here of mature ewes. They're in early gestation and won't be lambing for another, I don't know, two or three months. I think it's uh, the beginning of May. So we're going to take those ewes um, out of here and we're going to bring them to the driving shed. So I'll go show you what the driving shed looks like. That's kind of what we've been working on this morning and uh, yesterday and I'll show you where we're gonna bring them. So we got to get them into this area here that we've kind of prepared. As you can see it's been used for straw storage um, and we've ended up moving actually all those bales outside here. It's kind of unfortunate but not a huge deal for those bales to go through the straw spreader if they're a little frozen so that's what this this is going to be their new home they're going to be able to get out the back here um, and go outside and that's probably where we're going to feed them now this will basically just be an area where they can get out of the weather if it gets really rainy and wet um, or extremely cold and windy or whatever um, sheep can handle a lot so they don't really need tons of shelter so we're going to try to uh, utilize this space just to free up some room in the other barn. It's, uh, it might be a bit of a challenge getting them here. Um, they're not super well acquainted with going out in the snow. We don't do a lot of that here on our farm. Um, so we'll see. These are mature ewes, so they're not completely new um, to being outdoors like some of our younger stock is. So, And then here will be the outdoor area. This is... This outdoor area is not in the best shape. Um, we've actually just put up a bit of snow fence here to utilize uh, this space. And uh, they of course can come out of the barn there and uh, just have this open area here to run in. So we'll see how this goes. I'm having my two boys come here to help me uh, herd them there and hopefully it goes well. Okay, Isaac and Curtis are at the other end. So we're going to see how this goes. They're going to chase him out this end of the barn and have to chase him down the driveway there. I've got some corn here, which they might follow. So here it goes. Okay, guys, send them. That whole group, yeah. Here they come. That's it. Come on, girls. Follow along. <laughs> A little slippery for them. <laughs> There's always one. Isaac seems to be chasing that one. Come on, girls. Oh, and Bill's in there too, right there at the front. That's the spirit. So far, so good. Feeling like a real shepherd right now. 
leading my sheep to can't say greener pastures this time but Come on, Bill. Come here. Come on. You don't have to go in the deep snow. We gotta move some stuff out of here right away too, guys. Got to finish cleaning up. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on in. Come on in. You're gonna have to grab that gate, guys. Oh wow, they just walked all over this off. Yeah, I know. I forgot to move those tools for a second and my uh excitement to get out here get the sheep out looks like they can't wait to get outdoors one at a time beauty there perfect so that worked out really well yeah we'll have to fasten it up somehow all the sheep are in here, they went straight outdoors. We're gonna have to get them a bale of hay for out there. And uh, we just installed this water bowl here. Brought some power over here. And we just gotta turn the water on. And then we're good to go. Yeah, so when it comes to cheap housing, I would say this is about as cheap as it'll get. It's just a plain old pole barn here. And we just threw up some snow fens here to keep them out of the uh, straw here so they don't tear up all these bales. And uh, we'll just be feeding them outside over the fence. And that's really all there is to it. So really cheap. Um, and if this works really well, then that'll, that'll help us out a lot in terms of space for our other barn. And uh, we can use that barn more just for lambing. And we can use this barn just for those uh, gestational use. Hilarious. Good thing their aim's not that great. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Come on, Kurt. What's taking you? Uh, nothing. Playing games. So we got to start up a tractor here. We got to do some bedding in the barn, and we also have to bring a bale out there. So I think that's what we'll do first. We'll go grab some fall rye hay bale and put it out there.
Okay, so we got everybody bedded up here, all nice. And uh, now we just got to move some of these sheep in order to space them out to the other side there. And then this group right here and this group here we could also use a few more spaces. So we'll probably move this divider over up to here. And uh, that main gate right over here. We'll move that down a little ways and then we'll move about 16 ewes from this side to that side. And that'll give them about 8 ewes to a gate. A gate is 12 feet. So that will be pretty uh, effective, I think, in spreading them out and uh, giving them adequate bunk space. So, so last night we managed to uh, take some from this side here. And we got them moved over here and then we also gave more space for uh, all of these ones here so we finally had some more lambing again we kind of had quite a lull since um the group over here these guys are doing great um they're all running around looking like they're getting plenty to eat and uh it's always good to see but we had probably two or three days where we had almost no lambs um, and now we're finally getting some again. And uh, this one right here actually had triplets this morning. And there's only two left in here because I actually took one and cross fostered it to another. Um, they were all super good and perky. And it's not something I don't think we can take for granted this year. Um, I had two other sets of triplets one late last night and she had triplets but two were stillborn um something wrong there i don't know if this is a bit of the cash valley virus that people have been talking about they didn't weren't deformed or anything like that but uh this one here had twins nice and healthy this was the one i had last night so she's only left with a single here and this was the one that was born this morning and uh, again, this one was born weak, and this was the one I cross fostered from the other one. Hopefully that'll work. Um, we'll see if the lamb accepts mama, and if mama accepts the lamb. It's hard to tell yet. As you can see, look at the difference between this lamb and that lamb. Yeah, this lamb is older, but um, this one's just really slow to get up. So there's obviously something not quite right. So as you can see, we've got a lot of big mamas coming up here. And uh, probably the next two weeks, we'll see the majority of this group lamb out. Still lots to go. And I can already see that we're getting better numbers. The biggest thing, of course, is that we're getting them all to stay alive. I don't know why we're getting a few stillborns here. It's very unfortunate. It's very frustrating. But uh, we can only do what we can do. And uh, we'll have to see what happens. Anyway, we've come to the end of this video. I just want to say thanks for watching and for supporting our channel. And hope you have a great day. And we'll see you in the next one.